Hey guys, it's Alexa from Half Baked, and today's video is another collab video, but this time it is with Holly from Hairburst TV. So the festivals are coming up around the corner, so me and Holly decided to do a festivals look for you guys. I will be doing a DIY slash fashion slash looks video and Holly will be showing you guys a hairstyle that you guys could pair with this outfit. Today's DIY I will be showing you guys how to make this ruffle off the shoulder crop top. So this video is pretty much jam packed with a lot of things. Um, there is a DIY tutorial. I will be showing you guys two looks of how I style this top and we will be doing a hair burst giveaway at the end of the video. So so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can enter in the giveaway. So if you guys want to learn how to make this ruffled top, keep watching. You will need tracing paper, some scissors, a ruler, pins, a marker, a seam ripper or you can use scissors, your material which I suggest kind of lightweight. Some elastic, I use a quarter of an inch but you can use half an inch and some lace if you would like to add. Start by taking the measurement of your bust and how long you want your bandeau to be. You'll want to make a rectangle which will be the smaller rectangle pattern and for the width you are going to add about 5 or 6 inches to the total measurement of your bust. That way you can have enough room to slip in and out of it and for it to stretch. And to save paper, I decided to cut the measurement in half and just cut on the fold of the fabric. Don't forget to add seam allowance, kind of the width of your elastic. That way you can ensure that it'll fit all the way through. you want to get the measurement for the outside rectangle which will be the bigger rectangle and take your measurement and just wrap it around as if it were a shawl and from there you're going to make a larger rectangle but this time add about 10 inches to the overall measurement and again I cut this pattern in half to save some paper. And for the length of the larger rectangle, it can be however long you want um, the outer rectangle to be. So it can be, I believe I made mine about 11 inches, so it could kind of flow and not be too short as a crop. After you've cut out your fabric pieces using your patterns, you want to fold in the right side so that they're kissing and then sew along the side seam so that you have two large rectangle tubes. When hemming up your smaller rectangle, fold in about a width so that you can fit your elastic in. It just needs to be big enough. Um, for your elastic to thread through and when you are sewing it make sure you leave about a inch opening that way we can thread your elastic through afterwards. For the small rectangle you want to hem an elastic hem for the top and the bottom and for the larger rectangle only the top. Once you have all your pieces sewn, go ahead and find the centers for both your rectangle pieces and align them together. Then you want to find a point to where you want your two pieces to be sewn. I used about 7 inches from the side seam on the larger rectangle. I felt it gave me enough space for my arms to fit and go over my shoulder. Take your small rectangle piece and put it behind the larger rectangle piece on the inside. Align the two centers together and just pin along the top part until you reach those pins. That way you know how far to sew. When you are sewing the top part of the hem, make sure you are sewing exactly where the original seam is. That way you don't ruin the width of the hem. 
sew along the pinned area but remember to skip that one inch opening for the elastic. I totally forgot to film this but you will also need a safety pin to help you guide your elastic through the tunnel. Take a piece of elastic that fits slightly snug around your bust area and this will be for the top hem of the smaller rectangle and you want to just find that opening that you left and tunnel your elastic through. I like to pin the end of the elastic that way it doesn't get lost within the tunnel and you're just gonna tunnel it all the way through till you find the opening again and repeat the same for the bottom and make sure when you're finished that you hem both of the elastics together and close up that hole. Sewing a elastic into the arm piece is a little confusing but it is essentially the same process. What you're going to do is take a piece of an elastic that fits around your arm um, and is pretty snug and then you're going to tunnel it through on the um, larger rectangle piece through that hole that you made and then you're going to want to tunnel it through but you don't want to pin the end of the elastic because you want the end of the elastic to end up on one end of the arm piece. Once you feel that the elastic has reached one end of the arm piece you want to sew that down or pin it first and then sew it down and then continue tunneling until you get to the other side of the arm piece. Once you've gotten your elastic to the other end open up a small hole with your seam ripper or scissors and pull out the safety pin you then want to put back the elastic into the tunnel and then pin it down so that you can sew a little stitch just to hold it in place. After you've stitched down your elastic, you can go ahead and close up those holes and finish on the other side. Place is optional and if you want to do so, all I did was fold up the bottom hem as if I was going to hem it and I just placed the lace on top and then pinned and did a zigzag stitch to hold it down. So here is the first look at a two and I paired this top with some high waist blue kind of denim jeggings with a double ended belt and a floppy fedora. I also added a black tie to finish off the look. And in the second look, I paired it with a high waist um, A-line skirt. And this is where you can see that you could wear up on your shoulders. I paired it with a large statement necklace and um, a thicker brim fedora. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up. So for the Hair Burst giveaway a lucky winner will be receiving a prize from Hair Burst TV and in order to enter into the giveaway all you have to do is add a comment down below of what your favorite festival look is. Um, you also need to subscribe to the Half Baked channel and Hair Burst TV's channel and that is it. The winner will be announced two weeks from now which will be March 20th so make sure you get in your entries before then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Holly's video on Hair Burst TV on how you can finish this look with her hairstyle.